artist behind these images has a continuing desire to paint and draw human beings. For him, every portrait painted brings its own unique experience. Mohammed Hamza is a portrait artist who lives in Cardiff. Originally from the Sudan, he left his country of birth to travel, eventually ending up in Europe with a dream. I've always wanted just to be an artist more than I wanted to be anything else. So it seemed a little bit difficult to try and make a living somehow and also try and uh, learn and try and be an artist. So I came to Wales for a weekend in 1990, no, 1991. And um, here I am since. <laughs> that visit to Wales in 1991 was to have had a profound effect on Hamza. It was like all new to me, especially the language and the whole culture behind it. And then I found my way through artists, the artist environment, which where I ended here. For as long as Hamza can remember, he has always strived to become a better artist. He is prolific in his work and has great respect for the mediums he chooses to work with. I try to stay with oils, which is, is the main medium I use, but to actually produce anything substantial or anything good enough with oils, you need to use other mediums before you get there. I also use charcoals, I use uh, pastels, chalks, uh, watercolor at some point. His work clearly shows his ability to capture the essence of the sitter. But in Hamza's mind, there's still a long way to go before he ever reaches perfection. It has been a long journey for me, it's almost 20 years, and I'm still trying to get to the same result. I haven't got there yet. <laughs> Hamza's passion for portrait painting takes him out of Cardiff to his place of work in the Rhonda Valleys. The journey from Cardiff to the studio to the Herbert is, uh, is, is an outstanding uh, sort of journey for me in a daily basis. Yeah? It takes me away from everything and it also brings me closer to what I, really, what I really do and what I really want to do. And the scenery is more, it's more than therapeutic. It's, it's like I feel I'm going on holiday. I forget about I'm going to work for five minutes. But uh, as you can see, the view is just, it takes you away from whatever source you've got. And it brings you close to nature, it brings you close to yourself, and what you really want to do, so to say. Hamza's studio is located above the community art shop and gallery in Treherbet. Nothing makes me more happier than actually feeling that sort of security that tomorrow morning there is nothing to stop me from coming here and attempt another drawing. Then I go and see what... One of his latest projects is called Whales in My Eyes. His aim is to produce 40 portraits of people who live and work in Wales, which in some way expresses their identity and culture through his eyes. When Hans is not portrait painting, he's busy teaching art all over the South Wales Valleys. In Ferndale, he takes a class in watercolours. He's keen to share his wealth of knowledge with others, but it's not just a one-way process. I just learn from my students more than I, I feel at some point I'm a little bit guilty not teaching them enough for what I get from them. To be a better teacher, you've got to be a good listener. When we listen to each other, we benefit more from each other. And one minute I am the teacher and they are the students, and one minute they are the teachers and I am the student. So it's, it sort of balances out. I am out to learn more anyway. And they're, they're, while they were trying to learn, they're actually teaching me how they, how they work, basically, and what else they would want to achieve and so on. However, it is portraiture which is at the heart of Hamza's life, and he's meticulous in his preparation. The best way to keep the quality of the brush is using soap and water, 
and actually rub it against your own uh, skin. And the brushes are what makes the pictures more than anything else. So if you mistreat the brush, you have less chances of actually achieving with the good strokes. Hi, uh, where Andy? Where you got me? You got me? Right? I just have a seat right there. I'll be with you in a minute. Yeah? Okay, thanks. The relationship between me and the sitter is very important to have some sort of relationship in there. When you find someone who is actually happy to sit for you, it is a huge privilege. Portraits to me is one way of learning what other people, how they really look like, how many changes that occur from one minute to another, or from one, from one pose to another, from one environment to another, and from one experience to another. There is so much we could learn about each other, just looking at each other's portraits. So this is portrait shit to me. It's, it's, a, it's an everyday thing. At least if I if I didn't do it, or attempt to do a drawing a day, I feel I lost some time or I, something is gone. It's, it's not right. But there is still so much more to achieving a likeness on canvas than meets the eye. If you learn to see shade and light, and you learn to see tones, you're always able to see. And if you can see, you can always cope with things, and you can always change things, and you can always deal with it. It takes a long time for you to learn how to see, but it takes longer to teach your hand to do what you can see. Mixing the colors also has its complexities. Making tones with oil is very complicated. It's not easy. I mean, it, it seems like just putting two colors together and mix them. It's never that simple, so you got to know so much before you actually touch the tube. And once you touch the tube, you need to know how much you want from it and what else is supposed to go with it and uh, what tone you're actually looking for. If you give everything value, they will give you something back. Every portrait is a complete experience in its own, so the more of them you do, the, the more you get to know about the variety. The more different people there are, the more different tones, the character, and feature details, and the, and the rest of it. It is all based on lines and tones. The lines that of themselves, they don't have anything to say, except what they carry between them. So to me, tones are the unique side of human being. But has Muhammad Hamza's life in Wales lived up to his expectations? A few years back, it proved very difficult to continue being just an artist and never mind gaining any recognition or not. I gained enough recognition so far, more than I expected. I love being in the valley. It is to me is how heaven was described since when I was young. You go all these beautiful cities, the trees, the, the flowers, the colors and everything, and the people with the nature like the ones on the valley. What I got here in Herbert is I've got access to people and people got access to me. So my home is far, far, far away from here, but this is my home today and my children's home. One thing about Wales is, is it's possible to make friends. And, and that makes everybody a, a little bit happier when you've got friends. <laughs> For me, it's like my own discovery. I never thought for a million years I would have a studio in the middle of heaven. <laughs>